Nirvana joins me in studio. Dr. Nirvana, pleasure to have you. Good evening. From Israel's perspectives, what policies uh, will Hezbollah be pushing for that are uh, of concern to this country? Well, first of all, let's understand that Hezbollah is the only so-called political party in the world with 100,000 missiles, uh, and they are directed at Israel, and Hezbollah is a state within a state that is controlled by Iran. So definitely uh, the results of those elections uh, are a source of concern for Israel because it points out, points out, out sorry, uh, to a strengthening of Hezbollah in, in Lebanese uh, politics and strengthening the axis of uh, Lebanon uh, and I mean, I'm sorry, of, of uh, Iran with Lebanon controlling this axis and access to the Mediterranean Sea. So that is a very worrying development for Israel. Now, why is Hezbollah, we know it's always been considered the primary threat when it comes to Israel. Why is it the enemy by which Israel measures its preparedness? Because it is very much controlled by uh, Iran. And therefore, since Israel has a conflict, a global conflict with Iran, by the way, not only in the Middle East, but also on other continents such as South America and Africa, and since Hezbollah is very much controlled by Iran and is on Israel's northern border, any, any development related to Hezbollah has something to do with Israel's, conflict, with Israel's conflict with Iran, and hence Israel's concern about Hezbollah and strengthening, and as I said, the fact that it has about 100,000 missiles directed at Israel. When we talk about those uh, tens of thousands, 100,000 missiles pointing at Israel, there are, of course, uh, analysts and experts that say Hezbollah is not that strong. Look, uh, 100,000 missiles mean something. It's more than more what more countries in the world have. And remember the war that we had in 2006 uh, between Israel and Hezbollah. Uh, it was extremely difficult for Israel, nearly impossible to completely neutralize uh, Hezbollah because all those missiles are hidden within civilian population. And even for a very powerful army like the IDF, uh, facing guerrilla warfare like Hezbollah is extremely uh, challenging. Obviously, Hezbollah is not a superpower. Power. It is not a state, it's a state within a state. But the fact that it is fighting a, a, a guerrilla warfare against mm. Israel is a very big challenge. Very briefly, if you can, could we expect to see a war break out if uh, Iran does strike at Israel? It will be Iran's decision. If the Iranian thinks that they uh, can afford the risk, uh, then they will make this decision. But I'm very doubtful about it in the short or middle uh, or even long term because the Iranians, first of all, want to preserve what they can from the deal with the West about the, the nuclear program. Mm. They said it recently, so I very much doubt that they will take the risk of a war with Israel. Dr. Navon, appreciate that insight. Now for the